Hello, welcome back, and as always, I hope you're doing well. Right, this is going to be a little bit of a rambly video, guys, but it's a video that I've been meaning to make for a little while, and obviously I'm going away day after tomorrow, so I thought I'd just put this one out there. Now, I have got a video set to be released while I am on holiday, but I wanted to do this slightly impromptu it's not really well thought out, but it's something I needed to cover. I still get a lot of comments saying, why are you doing Bruce Lee videos? Why are you not doing record videos no more? What about the Beatles, etc., etc.? Madness, Tom Waits, whatever. Now, to be honest with you, I founded my channel, Stripey Rambles, on the back of the Beatles really it started off I didn't know what I was going to do when I first started off on YouTube I've never actually stood in front of a camera and spoke about anything and I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to speak about yet I really didn't and the Diagostini Beatle vinyl collection come out I started collecting them and the channel started to grow so I thought that's the direction I wanted to go but throughout my whole YouTube career journey whatever you want to call it I've always gone and done a Bruce Lee video from time to time. But there are a couple of reasons why I've knuckled down and focused on Bruce Lee. So I thought I'd just give you a few of the explanations why. Now, will I go back to doing record reviews at some point? Sure, of course. Of course I will. But there's a lot of misinformation on YouTube about Bruce Lee. As we know, there's a lot of... Um, What's going on, guys? There's a lot of clickbaity channels, but I'll get to that in a minute. So, the first reason why I went just to Bruce Lee content is... Last year, I simply asked. I'd done a video and I said... On the back of YouTube, anyone who does a YouTube channel will know, but viewers may not. Uh, you've got your YouTube studio and you can look at your analytics. And over the years, my better performing videos were Bruce Lee. They were Bruce Lee videos. Um, I, I didn't do loads and loads, but from time to time, whenever there was a, a bit of news, whether it was Spike Lee was going to remake Enter the Dragon, or Shame My Collection, or a new book, or a new box set come out, I would do an unboxing and show you what I thought. So last year, at the end of one of my videos, I said, like at the beginning of the video, I got a question for you at the end, and I simply said, do you want to see more Bruce Lee content? And... There was no pushback. There was no no. It was overwhelmingly, yes, we'd love to. So I'll give your viewers what the viewers wanted. That's one reason I simply asked. Another reason was in 2018, uh, me and a couple of my friends, I used to have a Facebook account. I'd done a video about a year and a bit ago saying I got hacked. But anyway, I used to have a Facebook account and... I decided to make a group called Bruce Lee Movies. It's still on Facebook, but obviously I'm not admin. I created the whole group. And it started off with seven members. And we built it up to 107,000 members in three years. I mean, I was really, really proud of that. You know, the group went really well. And I got hacked. So it was a little bit frustrating I put a lot of hard work a lot of time and effort into it putting out posters and pictures and articles and video clips and asking questions and adding information so there's that so I kind of miss putting my own little pennies worth keeping Bruce Lee's legacy going uh, because on Facebook I used to see an image that I'd never seen before and I'd click on it and it'd be a tiny little image like that and I'm like what is the actual point of putting that on there you know it was rubbish so I used to put high res images, cleaned them up if I could, get rid of creases and stuff. Just, I put a lot of work into it, put it that way. So that's another reason I kind of missed putting Bruce Lee content out into the world. Now, like I mentioned earlier, there's a lot of Bruce Lee bullshit channels, basically. You know, there's some famous ones that we've all talked about. I put in Bruce Lee on my page just to search what's coming up. And honestly, I get such clickbaity thumbnails. You've got images of Jackie Chan crying, saying, sorry, we lied. And a picture of Bruce that looks like he's laying in his coffin, covered in blood. And I'm like, what is this? And there's a lot of them. There's a lot of these channels. There's other ones with 
Chuck Norris and Bolo and Angela Mal saying Bruce Lee was not dot 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 Bruce Lee was not what and that's the whole point of these clip baity thumbnails it just gets your curiosity going and these channels are doing massive numbers on YouTube so there's a lot of misinformation being spread far and wide and that kind of bothers me you know the the real Bruce Lee fight channel I'm going to name them Beardy Top Discovery it's just clickbait they don't deliver on the clickbait either you watch the video and you think that's nothing to do with Bolo didn't explain what killed Bruce Lee nor did Jackie Chan we never lied it's just it's bullshit so I like to try and keep it as best I can factual now if I do make a mistake that's the beauty of having the jury I call you lot part of this community the jury because if I make a mistake I will get corrected in the comments and I ain't that big and bold not to acknowledge the fact I don't know everything I'm learning with you guys and over the last year since I've been focusing on Bruce Lee content I've learnt loads I've learnt oodles and it's it's great I'm really enjoying it sure there's some things about his life that some people don't like the Bob Baker letters and stuff like that to me it just makes the man more fascinating but it's subjective and I know not everyone's going to be able to separate Bruce Lee the man from Mr. Lee the character he portrayed in Into the Dragon I get that but he was a man of his time and I want to discover and research not just his high achievements I want to research the not so good things and all and why he probably went off the rails so that's what I'm doing also this Bruce Lee haters on YouTube now they won't say they hate Bruce Lee they'll say no I love Bruce Lee one that comes to mind is Shao Sonnen I respect Shao I like his content when he's talking about UFC it's great but he said famously Bruce Lee couldn't fight a lick the myth of Bruce Lee is exactly that it was a myth that guy couldn't fight a lick but he didn't just say it once he made five separate videos that I know of about Bruce Lee and Bruce Lee couldn't fight five surely one was enough shall wasn't it but he knew what he was doing he was going to pull in the views because Bruce Lee like it or not is held at the highest regard and there isn't a martial artist alive that's on that same pedestal as Bruce Lee it's just a fact and obviously Michael J. White did the same thing he went on a podcast and said I could beat Bruce Lee size matters baby Bruce Lee would be no match for me <laughs> and you could beat Bruce Lee really? Bruce, Bruce Lee is 132 pounds I outweigh him by 100 pounds he could, he could, he could, oh, size matters, baby. Oh, yeah. And then he went on DJ Vlad's and doubled down. And like you would actually know if he could beat him or not. Sure, I'll openly admit a bigger guy who can fight would normally beat a smaller guy that can fight in an octagon. But there's so many examples of smaller people beating bigger guys. And like I've said many times on the channel, Bruce Lee would practice finger jabs. They don't do finger jabs in the eyes in the UFC. They stop fights when people get caught in the eye. Now, I don't care who you are, how big you are, you get jabbed in the eyes, punched in the throat, or kicked in the nuts. It's going to change things. And Bruce Lee trained for real fighting. That's just my opinion. But Michael J. White, I mean, I think he's done about four or five videos. He even got asked would Bruce Lee beat Jackie Chan in a fight and he went Jackie Chan now Jackie Chan is I've got the clip I said who would win in a fight between you and Bruce Lee Jackie Chan said Jackie in your prime versus Bruce Lee who would win Bruce Lee really yes no question no question obviously Jackie is very humble and he would never be that bombastic and big headed to say I could beat Bruce Lee because he knows when Shel Sonnen and Michael J. White have statues of themselves in Chinatown in LA, Foshan in China, there's a huge 
there's a Bruce Lee Park. Sydney, Australia, obviously Kowloon, Hong Kong, there's a huge one on the harbour. And even in Mostar in Bosnia, there's a statue of Bruce Lee. So when Michael J. White, or Shao Sonnen, and Shao Sonnen always used to say, oh, all Bruce Lee stories all go back to LA. They all go back to LA. That was his arguing point. It's just they're all friends. They're all part of the clique. And oh, Bruce Lee was the best. Bollocks. Talk to Sammo Hong from Hong Kong. Talk at Jackie Chan from Hong Kong. The argument just falls flat on its face. He does it for clicks. But when you guys have got statues all around the world and are adored all around the world like Bruce Lee, then say your thing. Until then, do one video if that's how you feel about it. But we know what you're up to is clickbait. Right, but on the other hand, there are some great YouTube channels uh, regarding Bruce Lee. And I just want to give a little plug to a couple of them and I'll link a few down below. I highly recommend you go over there because you're going to find out truth. You'll get enthused. Yeah, there's some great channels. First off, obviously, the KFG, the Kung Fu Genius, Alex Richter. The guy knows his stuff about Bruce Lee. He will openly admit on his channel he does so much reading, he spends a lot of time reading. And he's interviewed some of the best. He's had Matthew Polly, who wrote the book, Bruce Lee Alive. John Little, who was the uh, biographer, you know, access to the Bruce Lee estate. He's had Steve Kerridge, who, in my opinion, puts out the best books on Bruce Lee. They're so well researched. Bay Logan, and other people as well. The guy knows his stuff. Um, the Wing Chun stuff, I don't really listen to as much, to be honest with you. But his Bruce Lee stuff is fantastic. And when he calls out Beardy, I quite enjoyed him videos as well. So Alex Richter, the Kung Fu genius, highly recommended. And I don't understand why his channel doesn't just explode. I, I can't figure that one out. Also, Golden Bell Training. He does do clickbaity titles, but he delivers. Sometimes he takes the piss out of the Beardies of the YouTube community, but he talks facts. And he's a very well-researched channel. Do enjoy Golden Bell. Then you've got some of the collectors, and obviously everyone's favourite duo. You've got Charles Damiano's channel, which is fantastic. And Urban Kung Fu, Hector Martinez. But both of them guys are an absolute joy to watch. And what it is, it's their enthusiasm still, after all these years. It's infectious, and they come highly recommended. Obviously, Charlie's channel is doing really well, and so it should. But give them a little bit of love if you don't follow Charlie and Hector. Urban Kung Fu and Charles Demiano. Amazing. Then you've got some British collectors. You've got Peter Reynolds. He puts out regular content showing his collection, which is incredible. All right, pal. And you've got Dave Love. He's not been putting out a lot of Bruce Lee content recently, but Dave's got a room, which is incredible. And Stephen Ells. He's another great channel. And 30 Plus Fitness and me. All right, mate. Then you've got Project Lee, does some great stuff, and Jesus Banjo. He does slideshows, basically it's just pictures, but I've never seen so many different photos of Bruce Lee than this guy has. He seems to have access to so many. So I'll link all these channels in the comment down below, guys, because these people need a little bit of love and a little bit of support. Um, I want to try and raise as many legitimate Bruce Lee channels as possible and hopefully add a little droplet of me own in there right so will I do record reviews in the future yes but for now I'm all in on the Bruce Lee thing there's a lot to learn there's a lot of literature to go through I've got my Bruce Lee book ready to take on holiday uh, from Martin Schnell looking forward to reading that mate while I'm away so yeah that's it this is going to be my like I said, my last little ramble before I go away. And like I said, I'm only away for a week, guys. And I've got a video coming out while I'm away. So you ain't going to miss me too much. Anyway, right. Before I go, as always, if you like this sort of thing, maybe give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Don't cost you nothing. And it does help this whole fella out. Have yourselves an amazing week, people. Much love. And I'll be back with another ramble real soon.
you take care of yourselves now.